Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Crabboard back again. Well, I haven't been answering many comments or posting at all in the past week, mainly because I'm on vacation in California and I really only had time to like really settle down like at this moment. So a lot of you guys have been getting my preset packs lately and I've been getting like DMs and emails about how they don't work and how to set them up in your logic. And for this video, I basically want to show you the easiest way to do it just so you can watch this video instead of asking me for like refunds and stuff like that. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed, hit the notification button as well. I'll be back on track next week. I'll be making a lot of videos for you guys. Good be good don't worry so for this video i'm going to show you the easiest foolproof way to add custom presets to your logic so that they work and come up in your library and when i say library i mean this little tab here and user patches because some people don't know how to add them so basically the question most people asked was oh i bought your preset packs they don't work because they don't go in automatically when it comes to adding presets and stuff there's a folder called uh, audio music apps and then patches and then audio and in there you'd copy and paste everything but some people can't find that folder some people don't have that folder for some reason even though you do i'm going to show you guys the easiest way to find that folder all right so to make everything clear the the reason you want to do this is because whenever you would download any preset and you can't find the folder you want to put them into, create your own first and that folder actually shows up when you search for it. So now you want to save the presets. So you click the library, bottom right you click save. Poop preset is what I'll save it as. So now you want to find the folder that it's actually in. You go to the top right of your Mac screen. You click a little magnifying glass, spotlight search, and you type in poop preset. And then look at that, poop preset dot patch is right there. You click show all in finder, then it shows up right here. Highlight it, and down below you can see all the folders it's in. So like I said, in the music folder, it's audio, music, apps, patches, audio. And then you see poop preset. Double click audio, and there you go, there's all your presets. Now if you downloaded any presets off the internet, you can then copy and paste them in this exact folder. Once you do that, you just open up Logic, and boom, they're all in there. And that's really all you have to do. So this is definitely a foolproof way to do it. Uh, nothing too crazy. You just create the patch, search the patch, find it. And then you find the folder. You just copy and paste there. You might have to reset your logic and then they'll all show up. But yeah, that's basically it. And that's about it for this. Sorry if it didn't help you guys much, but that's the clearest, easiest way I could do it. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you learned something. Sorry I've been lacking on videos lately. I've been super busy. I've been on vacation, but I'll be back at it in about a week. I might put out another video after this, but definitely in a week's time, I'll start posting a lot more again. Drop suggestions down below and I'll get on that. Anyway, this has been a Crab Lord. How to find the custom presets folder in Logic Pro X. And like always, we out. I mean to brag, but they love my style They used to tell me leave, now I'm staying for a while Butterflies in my stomach got me like oh, wow. La mama, won't you come and pull up on me right now I do not mean to brag, but they love my style They used to tell me leave